Let me guess. His dad's man called him, and then he called you. You know, he's just looking out for us. Really? Can we talk? No. You know, Marco, you can talk to me. We're brothers. You know nothing about me, just like I know nothing about you. We're totally different, so I would say we're total strangers. That's not true. Deny it all you want, but you know it's the truth. Now, if you would excuse me... Where are you going? Not your problem, Samaj. So you're just gonna leave just like that? Yes, yes, and yes. Stop pretending to care about me. Oh my god, can you try not to make this about you for once and try to see what this family's going through? Jesus Christ, Marco! What about me? What about you? So you're just gonna be mad? Because what? They didn't want you joining that stupid boy band? It wasn't Dad's decision. It was mine. Mine alone. He was trying to protect you. No. He was trying to control me. Just like he does to all of us. And if you can't see that, then you're just a fool. Never mind, you wouldn't understand anyways. Understand what? Marco. Look, I, I know... I know I should have been around, but... You... You were in private school and... We thought... I thought that you were in a good place. And if anything was wrong, that you would have told us. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry that I let you down. I'm sorry that I wasn't the brother I should have been, but I thought I thought you were good. I I thought you were in a good place. I thought that we were in a good place. But I guess I guess I was wrong. I'm going to see. Dear Diary, January 13th, Great Granddad Dalvin and I talked today, and he promised that I can finally take that trip to Europe next spring, and I can't wait. I just wanted so bad to get out of here just for a few days. The old man is getting stronger by the day, and while everyone is just waiting for him to die, I don't think Granddad is ready to let go yet. Maybe he's afraid of letting go, or maybe he's afraid of the unknown. Who knows, but he's getting stronger and stronger every day. Dear Diary, I can't stop thinking about Benjamin. I can't get him out of my head, my mind, my body and soul. I can't stop thinking about how he made love. I can't stop thinking about how he made love, feeling his strong masculine arms against mine, the smell of his cologne, his jaw against mine kissing me passionately and leaving me wanting more, wanting him in my bed at night. He is torturing me by keeping his distance away. Oh, I hate him for doing this to me. I hate him for toying and playing with my feelings and emotions. Oh god, I want him so much it kills me inside to think of him as someone else. Stop. Stop. Uh, why won't you pick up? 
Josh. 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 Do you have a minute? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I kind of need a favor. Mm. Could I maybe borrow your phone? For what? I'm trying to get a hold of my little brother, but I can't call him because he won't accept my calls. So... Mm, fine. Five minutes only. Thank you. Now leave. I'll call you when I'm done. Yeah, of course you will. I know very well our friendships will never be accepted in the outside world. After all, he is my father's right hand man, and not to mention the age difference between us. My father will never accept that, even though he's okay with me being gay. What? It's me! Emily? Yeah. Oh. I heard what happened. I'm fine. Whose number are you calling me on? Mm, does it matter? Uh, where are you? Out. Alright, well, I'm at the house of a Florida May, but I'm finishing up a fitting, so I'll be done soon. Um, do you maybe want to get lunch at the mansion? Or Adrian's house? Sure, the mansion sounds okay. Okay, thanks. Love you. I love you too. Bye. I watched Benjamin kill Grandad Dalvin, and I didn't do anything about it or tell anybody. Oh my god. Hi. You really need to stop doing that. Here. Thank you. Are you okay? <gasps> yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, did you see my brother in his office? No, but I did see Taggio and, uh, uh, the, the black guy. His name is Tajon. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright, well, let's get going. I'm gonna go eat lunch with my brother. Um, um yeah, yeah, you can go. And no, it's not a date. But, but that didn't even cross my mind. 